After five years of painstaking development, this is the end result of its final test flight. That's one, do you read? And the cause of this accident? 584 has ejected. All traces back to this three foot long metal rod called the Keel Pro. The design of the X-31 enhanced fighter jet is based upon thrust vectoring technology, allowing the plane to fly in a direction other than where the nose points. Its advanced computer enables maneuvers that would normally stall other planes. In fact, the X-31 can stop, hover, and turn 180 degrees before returning to normal flight. Antelope Valley, California, 1995. Today, the X-31 is on its 67th test flight and has ascended to an altitude of 23,000 feet. This will be the last one. Yeah, I know. Then, as the pilot performs a series of tests in conjunction with ground control, he notices an anomaly on the X-31's computer. Yes, it is off, uh, reading 277 knots. Despite the discrepancy, the pilot and ground control continue testing the jet. Three, two, one, go. Do anything. Ground control notifies the pilot of a problem with the heating system used on the keel probe, which gathers data used by the X-31's computer. We think it may not be hooked up. It may not be hooked up. That's good. I like this. Seconds later, sarcasm turns to panic as the pilot abruptly loses control of the aircraft. The experimental aircraft plummets toward Earth. Yeah, we copy, Dana, we copy. 5884 has ejected the aircraft is descending over the North Base area. Even without a pilot, the computer tries to regain control of the aircraft. 584 has ejected from its aircraft. The aircraft is descending north of North Base. The pilot is in the chute at this time, descending uh, approximately one mile north of North Base. It maneuvers the X-31 into different positions until... Back at 23,000 feet, the X-31's computer is processing inaccurate data received from the Kiel Pro. We think it may not be hooked up. It may not be hooked up. The pilot struggles to maintain control of the aircraft, but the computer overrides his commands and sends the X-31 into a vertical climb. Oh, God. With no control, the pilot is forced to eject. Okay, NASA-1, we have an ejection, we have an ejection. 76 seconds later, the X-31 is destroyed. During routine maintenance, the Keel Probe's heating system was mistakenly disconnected. It gradually became covered with ice, causing the inaccurate readings that led to the crash. Fortunately, the pilot was not injured. Even though a series of errors caused the crash, it's determined that the incident might have been averted had the pilot been able to bypass the computer system with manual override. I'm Ron Pitts, and we'll see you next time on Destroyed in Seconds.